Hey guys, so in my last video I was talking about how um, I'm going to try and continue making um, content and also building computers because part of the goal for this is I want to use it to further the ministry that God has on my life. Um, it's not nearly just the... <laughs> it's not just the... Um, recovery ministry anymore though either that's that's the really interesting thing it's more than that now so what i want to what i want to show you guys is something that god's been putting on my heart and continuing to guide me into for the next year so let me go ahead and pre present this to you kagayaku ministries Kagayaku is the Japanese word for shine. We will shine for Japan. And the reason why I chose this, the reason why I'm being led into this really is because um, statistics show that less than 1% of Japanese people are being reached for the gospel. Many Japanese folks are struggling are depressed especially the young japanese you find stories after stories after stories of japanese folk just being so depressed and being being pushed down so heavily and part of the reason why is because they don't have a a, a true anything truly to hope for in life other than to be successful and, and honor the family name, which is all fine and good. But they need faith. And the biggest struggle for Christian missionaries that want to reach the Japanese that I have found through my research in the past three to four weeks is that the Japanese are not agnostic. They're not atheists they have spirituality but it's not part of their identity it's part of their culture and that's the problem because between shintoism and buddhism which are the two main the two major religions in japan both of them are more of a cultural norm than they are a personal pursuit and that is what makes the difference between reaching people in Africa, reaching people in Asia, reaching people in um, Central and South America, even reaching people here in North America, even reaching people in Europe, in Japan. Because they have this, ident this cultural identity of being um, Shintoists, being Buddhists, and the fact that there are no set times for going to the temples and... and you know, venerating the old gods or venerating nature spirits or whatever. They don't have a frame of reference to be able to compare Christianity with. And that's the main, that's the main trouble is that compared to, compared to Japan, we here in America are spoiled because even if we don't come from a Christian um, perspective, we still understand the idea of gathering on Sunday mornings and worshiping together and everything else because that's something that's baked into the way that we see um, our cultures, you know, behaving. Whereas over in Japan, they can go to the temple any day of the week. In fact, a lot of people go to the temple on their way to work just as a, you know, a habit. It's a thing they do. They go during holidays. They go during festivals they go to during other things but they don't like have a set day where they dedicate to a faith and so that's why it's so difficult to reach people for the gospel over there so what my main goal is is not to like revenue revolutionize anything about reaching the japanese folks it's about adding another voice into the mix and another obedient voice into the voices speaking into the people over there because there are young folks that are that are 
killing themselves figuratively and literally over um, over honor, over careers, over trying to cram for a good school because they have to, because that's the expectation their parents have given them or whatever. And it's getting to the point where so many young folks over there are depressed, are anxious, are lost. And I used to be one of those young folks, not in their way, but in my own way, I was still get lost, still depressed, still unfocused, and still unsure of who God wanted me to be and who I needed to be. So if I can reach people who, like me, have been there and have been in the, in the down in the dumps and just been lost, I will do everything sort of sinning to do that. And that means embracing their culture and finding ways to use their culture to help them see Jesus. You know, I'm 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 I was gonna start a an anime Bible study series here on this channel because I thought that would be a good way to start um, linking Japanese concepts with Christian concepts because honestly, there are many things in Japanese culture that are expressed through the medium of anime, which is wonderful, which is beautiful, but it's also an opportunity. That's the thing. I want to be the one, I want to be yet another person who is willing to reach those who aren't being reached now. And that means that I have to buckle down and learn another language because right now I'm trying to learn Nihon, which is, you know, Nihongo is Japanese. Ohayo gozaimasu is hello, but in a more um, formal fashion. Um, arigato. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm learning things because I want to be able to con communicate and connect with the people who I care about, which are God's people, who are his creations. And so I would love for you guys to... Um, join me in this endeavor as I continue to flesh out more of the process of what this is going to look like. I hope to have a roadmap video presented for you by the end of this month, showing you the particulars of exactly what I want to accomplish within the next year to five years. Um, and then I will also be providing you guys, hopefully, with a GoFundMe or Kickstarter link to be able to help me with that as well. Because unfortunately in this day and age, being able to reach people requires some sort of capability beyond just what a broke guy in his um, apartment room can do. And so it requires a bit more than just hand-me-down electronic parts and stuff like that. So... But, you know, that's beyond this. That's beyond this. I just want to focus on pray for me as I continue to work towards being able to reach the people who need Jesus the most. Whether it's my neighbor here at home or my neighbor over in Japan, in Hokkaido, in Tokyo, in Osaka, or wherever, you know. Wherever there are people that need Jesus, I want to be able to reach them somehow. So please, join with me in prayer, join with me in, in pursuit, and join with me in purpose as we all reach people for Jesus Christ. Thank you.